Hello and welcome. We are here at the ASCO at the Cajun booth and I'm here with Naomi Thompson, an expert in clinical bioinformatics. And Naomi is going to give us a short introduction to the Cajun Clinical Insight Platform. So Naomi, what is the platform about? So the Kaiju Clinical Insight Platform is the last step in any NGS analysis process. It's the step where you really find the exciting information, where you are associating the variants with the understanding that one has generated in research about the variants. So it's taking the variants and putting them with our knowledge base, 13 million findings in our knowledge base, and providing interpretation on those variants. Sounds very comprehensive. Who is it meant for? So large labs can use our software as well as small labs. So a small lab would be able to use the software very much as it is right now and a large lab may also take advantage of some of our custom solutions and include automation. So what are the applications supported by the platform? So it's used for um, people who are doing targeted sequencing for somatic cancer as well as blood cancers as well as hereditary cancer. And can you explain us a few of the main functions of the platform? So how does it work? The first thing that happens after you've done a next generation sequencing experiment is you generate a list of variants and the goal is to understand what those variants mean. So you'll upload the variants, a VCF, a variant file, and you want to know which are the ones I need to pay attention to, which are the ones I want to share with my community. So here we have EGFR and, and KRAS, but in addition to those variants, we also had many benign variants. These are already pre-classified using our computed classification. And if in any way you have additional knowledge from your personal lab's expertise that is outside of our significant knowledge base, you can also affect that classification. So if I double click on this um, variant, for instance, I can see there's a lot of information that's available here. So this, I'm now in the variant detail. I can see information about the gene prevalence, the disease prevalence. This is my computed classification that I was talking about. And I can also create a new assessment. All of these can be toggled open and on and off so you can see different levels of information about your variants. But how difficult is it to get the platform up and running? To get it up and running is, is very simple. You can take a VCF and you can run through our manual upload and it would start working right away. We also have options if you want to do some additional automation in your lab where we can customize the tool and really streamline the process. Well, thank you very much. Uh, where can actually customers get additional information if they would like to learn more about the platform? Well, obviously, a great place to get information is the Kaijin Bioinformatics website. And, of course, if you can contact myself or my co colleagues, Joe Yersley or Bill Wright or Ian Cook in Europe, we'd all be happy to help you. Well, thank you very much for the introduction. And also, thank you for watching. Thank you. See you soon.